because it is 11.58. It is Sunday, May the 7th. Happy Sunday. Mm, 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 mm. Again, it is 11. Well, it's now 11.59. Your girl just had a very mild workout. I just did a, about a 45-minute walk on the treadmill on a slight incline. I think I did an incline of like two. Took it very, very easy today and just kind of chilled out. Today is very stormy, okay? We we got a bunch of rain in the forecast just put it like that the noise that you hear in the background is my rumba rumbaing and doing what it need to do today is going to be a super super chill day we're going to stay at home for the most part i do have to run out just to pick up a couple things for dinner tonight um on the menu is going to be spaghetti corn on the cob and um spaghetti corn on the cob let me turn this rumba off and um what else spaghetti corn on the cob 
and garlic bread for me and Bay. And then Zay is going to have garlic bread, chicken alfredo, and corn on the cob. And I may or may not uh, do some chicken wings on the side as well, just depending on how I'm feeling. But that is going to be dinner for tonight. Super, super simple. Um, and again, we're just going to run out to the store very quickly. It's supposed to progressively get worse in terms of weather as the day goes on. And it's still pretty early in the day. So I'm hoping if I can shower, you know, get myself together rather quickly then um i can head out and come back home because child i ain't trying to be up in nobody's weather okay oh, zay is gone so it is just you and me rocking on this super super dreary sunday i hope that you guys have had a fantastic weekend thus far leave me some comments down below letting me know how you're doing and what you did because i'm nosy and i care <laughs> Fifty-eight, so still making pretty good timing i went ahead and just got myself together honestly because i forgot that i told y'all that i was gonna meet y'all in the kitchen for a kombucha and chlorophyll before i shower baby we be lined it right on to the shower okay so i do have my chlorophyll here um my water set that right there and my nasty okay kombucha I just threw my hair up in a ponytail. I honestly really, really today with the weather and how it's looking outside, I really wanted to leave my house <laughs> in a bonnet, okay? I didn't even want to give y'all eyebrows. I didn't. I didn't want to give y'all baby hairs. Barely made it, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and fill my cup up with some water. Cheers. Now that we have had our chlorophyll, I'm going to take the kombucha to go with me. Um, there's usually like some sort of residue, for lack of a better word, uh, that's always at the bottom. So I like to gently shake it so that I don't make a mess, if you know, you know, um, before I drink it. At the finest, that's the boss. Lip on club poppin'. She was right there with me, bottle poppin'. Living that life, and she just didn't understand my lifestyle, and that I ain't like me only. I did it all for you. Still, you were lonely. We could have worked it out. But I guess things change. It's funny how someone else's success brings pain. When you're no longer involved, that person has it all, and you just stuck standing there. But I'm gonna need you. Okay, it's still drizzling a little bit, so to God be the glory for that, I will take it. Let me try to leave up out of here with no accidents. Okay, so did I have self control? Okay, is the question. Where I lost self control was in the snacks department <laughs> the snacks department uh which i believe is the department that i said that i didn't want to go overboard in and i really didn't go overboard i just got cookies um that wasn't on uh my to get list okay um so i got two packs of cookies an oreo and then which i never tried the birthday cake oreo before but i'll show you guys that um and then i picked up some straws because i don't know what happened to my straws the same thing that happened to my silverware is the same thing that's happening to my straws and i blame the people that i live with it's not me it's both of them it's both of them and i'm just gonna stick by my story that's just that on that which by the way uh before the week ends okay we definitely got to get some silverware because the three forks that i told y'all that i had several vlogs ago that i needed to re-up on i'm now down to literally like one it was so embarrassing i mean but not really because you know it's family but it was embarrassing and i had to laugh at myself when my mom and my sister came over for the barbecue that we had and if you have no idea what i'm talking about check out the vlog on the screen i'm just gonna crack crack over my kombucha um to check out that vlog once you're done with this one but baby we were supposed to get plastic utensils didn't get plastic utensils and we did not have regular utensils so i was eating my my food with a spoon that's that's ghetto mm. oh golly <laughs> this doggone 
ginger you taste the ginger if you are not a ginger fan do not never pick up this kombucha hold on we turned around for y'all this ginger aid don't do it to yourself i and i like ginger it is just way too much ginger for me like it is ginger overload okay but anywho i digress let me swerve right back on into the subject matter lane i i just need utensils that's just what it is i'm I, i'm i'm too overgrown okay to not have proper utensils in my house and i ain't talking about the plastic ones either even though i need those too I don't know what we're gonna do for dinner tonight. At least two of us is gonna be eating dinner with a dog on a spoon. We're gonna be eating pasta with a spoon tonight. Cause hey. We don't got no utensils. Here are the items that I picked up from the grocery store, starting with the cheese. This brand was buy to get two free. So I picked up a bag of cheddar jack, one bag of parmesan, and two bags of the Mexican style four cheese blend some straws primarily for my kombucha some parmesan cheese for tonight's dinner some prego i have a jar here but i wanted to pick up an extra just in case um i feel like it needs to be a little bit more saucy two bags of lays this is the wavy funyuns which is my current current favorite flavor at the moment and then i picked up some jalapeno cheddar lays I wanted to try these birthday cake Oreo cookies when I saw them. Not quite sure how new they are. They probably have been on the market for quite some time, but it's my first time trying them and they are super, super delicious. So if you are interested in trying a new Oreo flavor and have not tried this one just yet, I highly recommend. I also got some Chips Ahoy Chewy as well. These aren't my go-to cookie, but my husband and my son really like them. So I figured why not? And then I picked up two boxes of the thin spaghetti, two boxes of Texas or not Texas toast, but New York toast. Uh, the bottom one is a, um, I don't know, it says real cheese. I'm not quite sure how many cheeses they use, but this one is a Texas toast. And this is a jalapeno um, snack bread that is filled with cheese. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Did I forget to mention it's super bomb and then lastly i picked up a bag of popcorn or a box of popcorn and two of the popcorn seasoning this is white cheddar and this is ranch i am currently cooking my spaghetti so i'm gonna put these things away and get started on my outfit never had a wild one like that don't really do one night shit Cause one night can make them want a whole life shit. you know i left my own lover in christ there's a new girl that hella uptight and i broke the mold when he made my type you got the same vibe that's what i like are we really sure kind of love lasting for so long still in Hello and welcome back to another vlog. If you're new here, my name is JP. I'm your new homegirl, you just don't know it yet. Hey. <laughs> and if you're returning, welcome back. Today is Monday, May the 8th. Happy Monday. <laughs> It is 8.02 and I'm not too far from work, so I wanted to open up the vlog, tell you guys good morning. I hope that you all had a fantastic weekend. Leave me some comments down below letting me know how you're doing because I care. And I'll see you guys once I make it in the office. Good afternoon, you guys. It is late, okay? I am on lunch. It is currently 1.52 getting on my lunch i heated it up um baby okay we had another change in personnel take place um i'm not sure when it took place but we were notified of it on thursday um and uh me and my manager got to talking not necessarily about that um solely but that came up along with some other things and baby bottom line is is as much as i be talking about how my manager be on my neck with work and she do okay because sis don't be playing around she is super cool super dope and we do have some pretty good conversation most of the time it's work related because y'all already know the vibes on this side of town i don't really do too much personal okay um i try to stay away from personal altogether when i'm at work i just find that it works out for me 
um, has been working out for me. If you're new here, I've been with the company that I work for for almost, I think it's either almost seven years, almost eight years. I want to say almost eight years. I started back in 2015. So I don't know. You do the math. Drop it in the comment section down below because this is confused. Okay. Seven or eight. I don't know. Uh, but anywho, um, we're both long winded. Okay. And the moral of this story is that that's the reason why I am late. I have my spaghetti here. Noodles are underneath and I am low key, very agitated with myself who is that hey boss lady denise thank you so much for commenting on my video today i really really appreciate you for showing me love um but anywho i'm low-key mad that i forgot my dog on cheese because y'all know I, I love a good cheesy pasta okay so we just gonna have to um enjoy this pasta this here is spaghetti without any cheese and that's perfectly fine i mean the flavors are busting so it is what it is the cheese just give it a little just something extra okay hold on mm. Mm -hmm. yes father god mm. it's so good cheese would have took it there though my goodness cheese would have took it there mm. mm-hmm to drink i do have two cokes i just picked up two of these little mini cokes speaking of drinks y'all i gotta tell y'all about this here timu cup okay um notice the straw is missing i threw it away as much as i love this cup and its uniqueness and its daintiness it's just the vibe okay it matches my personal aesthetic hello here we go yet again i'm reminding you guys that i am wednesday okay manifested in chocolate form um i love a good black anything however what i hated about this cup yes i said the h word what i hated about this cup was the straw didn't like it i actually threw it away i'm gonna uh go on amazon and just get like a reusable black plastic straw that fits this cup and i'll be good all will be well in my world the issue that i had with this straw was that the pieces of the bamboo were floating around in my water we don't love that for us not to mention i didn't like drinking from the bamboo straw when i suck the water up because that's really what i got this for for you know just cute look tumbler for water when i sucked it up it made a weird noise because it's bamboo hey shanicia k oh girl i really hope i'm saying your name right hey shanicia k that was me saying a silent prayer that i said your name right thank you so much girl for commenting on my video and showing my video love i truly truly appreciate you thank you thank you thank you so much for rocking with your girl but anywho yeah y'all i couldn't do the straw the straw was an absolute no-go and i was wondering about why my water was tasting funny this morning um and i was like well maybe it's the bamboo straw because we never did that on this side of town so i just kept drinking and then something told me to open up the lid girl and look at the dog on water girl got to floaties all around it. i don't do that i don't do that that's ghetto okay and nasty to me in my personal opinion so timu i got to deduct a couple points for <laughs> on the cup that i initially rated a 10 out of 10 because that bamboo straw ain't it y'all got to do better than that on that cup okay on that design because i'm not i ain't rocking with it i don't love that for me and we threw it away that's just that on that something about your hands on my body feels better than any man I ever been Something about the way you just give me Good afternoon, fam. It is 5.37 and you already know the vibes. We are done. We are off of work. To so God be the glory, okay? Now, if we can just get through this ghetto A traffic, okay? We can slide on to the house. The weather is weathering. I mean, it's not really bad. It's just been a very gloomy day. It's currently 87 degrees outside and it is very muggy. Like the kind of weather that make you feel sticky, once you come back inside from being outside, it's that kind of weather. Um, so sis is ready to go home. 
okay? I just wanna be up in my bed, up in the comfort of my own home, relaxing, chilling, and minding my business. Uh, but today's work day was pretty, pretty good, um, very productive. I started working on a new project, so to God be the glory for job security, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's always a good thing when they give you something new to work on, because that means, you know, they need you, okay? They feel like you can do the job, and I mean, I can right i hope you guys had a fantastic day today i don't know y'all i think we're gonna go ahead on and skip out on a workout today i just don't want to work out i want to go home i want to eat more spaghetti the proper way okay with my cheese with a little bit of parmesan with a little bit of shredded cheese okay nice and melted on the top and i just want to pull up a chair and have several seats and i think that's what i'm going to do today it's been a hot little minute since i took a day off of working out from my regularly scheduled workout program um if that makes sense and i think today is going to be a day that we're going to go ahead and call off Bay is already at home zay is currently at work so yeah i think that's what we're gonna do so no workout for today so in other news just to give you guys a heads up tomorrow is tuesday of course i'll be working in the office and just in the event i forget for whatever reason i want to go ahead and tell y'all now that i will not be able to get any lunchtime footage for you guys because i have been voluntold by both of my managers that all three of us are having lunch tomorrow we are celebrating the completion of an audit of our department um and we you know did well we passed and whatnot if that's such a thing during an audit uh but i hear is good news okay i had very little um hand in the audit this year so i mean if they say it's a celebration i'm a roll with it it's a celebration but if, unfortunately i won't be able to vlog for you guys for obvious reasons because i will be with both of my managers and i mean who am i to turn down a free meal i just wasn't raised like that and if you go around turning down free meals okay something is wrong with you and you may not have been raised properly i don't know i'm just saying just throwing it out there something to consider me on the other hand if it's a free meal and i can pick it and it don't got no pork it don't got no shellfish you're not trying to give me no shrimp no catfish no crawfish right i might i might i might you know <laughs> partake see what it do you know what i mean but anywho that's just that on that uh i wanted to give you guys a heads up on that anything exciting happened spontaneous happened annoying happen stressful happen and you want to share with your home girl leave it in the comment section down below because y'all already know <laughs> y'all know the vibes okay i care or whatever i love chatting it up with y'all and shout out to everybody that drops me comments in each one of my videos like it'd be a vibe okay it'd be a whole vibe on some of these videos that i didn't upload we got over 100 doggone comments we be running it and i love y'all for that thank y'all so much for coming through real strong with the engagement. I love getting to know each and every one of you through the comment section. It really does more in my heart that y'all come through each and every time and show your girls some love. So thank you for that. Thank you. With that being said, I will see you guys once I make it to the crib. Good evening, you guys. I think it's like seven. Let me check before I lie to y'all. It's 7.42. Um, I am so fresh and so clean. I'm looking for my remote. Let me see if this one will work. Um, I just got out of the shower. I showered a little bit later than I wanted to because husband and I um, had a visitor that we forgot we scheduled to come over. Um, so we had to get that taken care of. If I look um, a little greasy, it's cause I am child. If you're interested, um, while I was in the shower, I washed my face with Dove Sensitive Soap. And then when I got out of the shower, I used my turmeric DIY face scrub, which is excellent uh, for not only fighting acne, but it's also good at um, like getting rid of discoloration, hyperpigmentation, scars, all of that jazz. So I whipped up a little concoction because you know your girl <laughs> can, okay? Um, and I've been using that for quite some time and have been loving it. Um, and I also threw a little cinnamon in there because cinnamon, if in the event you did not know, is a good anti-inflammatory. Oh, just dropped the gem on y'all. Y'all didn't even see it coming. You didn't even see it coming. Anywho, so I'm about to, first of all, close this dog on washroom. Okay, let me, because <laughs> the, the, the clicking and the clacking is definitely getting on my nerves. 
Okay, now that we have that out of the way, I guess I could give y'all a little bit of light even though I'm about to put y'all down. There we go. Let me give some more light because now that's giving weird vibes. There we go. Okay, um, so y'all can really see, you know, your girl is nice and <laughs> moisturized or whatever. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and whip up some spaghetti, really just heat it up because we cooked it yesterday, right, right. Um, and then I'm also going to uh, make myself some butter toast because I really want butter toast instead of garlic toast. Let me know in the comment section down below. First of all, have y'all ever had a spaghetti sandwich? Okay, is it a Southern thing? Because I definitely had uh, many of spaghetti sandwiches. Basically, it's just toasted butter bread. You put that spaghetti up on that there bread, of course, with cheese. I mean, is it just me? No? You too? Okay, cool. And then you fold it up and you eat it, and that's just a spaghetti sandwich. Okay, you can have one bread and just fold it up like a little hot dog bun, or you can do it with two bread. But comment down below. Let me know. Or, second question do you prefer butter toast with your spaghetti or garlic toast? I actually prefer butter. I'll eat it with garlic, but it's just something about the butter bread and the spaghetti combination that do it for me every single time. That's just that on that. But y'all be sure to let me know in the comment section down below what you prefer. I'm gonna go ahead and get the ball rolling on getting my dinner heated up and I'll pick you guys up in a second. Good morning, fam. It is Tuesday, May the 9th. Happy Tuesday. It is 7.51. Yep, ain't gonna make it to work. <laughs> ain't gonna make it to work on time, okay? I'm gonna get there close to 8, but I'm definitely not gonna walk through the door at 8 o'clock. The traffic is doing a thing, but I can't blame it all on traffic, y'all, this morning. Since lost track of time, okay? First of all, Bay woke me up this morning um, because he was making a little bit too much noise. I am a light sleeper, fun fact about me, um, while he was looking for his keys. So I got up because, I mean, he had already woke me up, right? <laughs> okay. Um, to help him find his keys so that he would not be late for work. And in doing so, you know, my body was like, what's that? You know, like, we, <laughs> my body was ready to go, okay? But my brain was like, mm, I still need a little bit more time. So after uh, Bay found his keys, which they were in my purse, by the way. How they got in my purse, I don't know. I think he put them in there. Our keys do not look the same, so it, it ain't even no mistake in them. They don't feel the same in weight, and they don't look the same. I have more keys than he does, and I have a cover and, you know, a couple other things, so on and so forth. So I don't know how. I think he put them in there on accident. He don't seem to remember and think that it's crazy that they ended up in my purse. But anyway, y'all know the vibes. So uh, after he left, I had a hard time just immediately falling back asleep. So what I did was I started responding to you guys' comments on the video that I uploaded yesterday, uh, which was a vlog where I was trying not only a new Celsius, but also um, kombucha. I've been calling it kombucha and ain't none of y'all still yet. Okay, that, but that's how I know we family. <laughs> Ain't none of y'all be like, sis, it's com, com, kombucha. Kombucha, sis, what a A, where you get an A from? It's just natural, more natural feeling for me to say kombucha. So I may still say kombucha, but just so y'all know on record, okay, I know now, I didn't at the time, but I know now it's pronounced kombucha. Okay, thank you guys so much for showing that video love, sharing it out, commenting, liking, all that good stuff. Um, after I responded to a good majority of comments that um, I fell asleep on last night, okay, because sis was very tired, um, I also responded to some emails. Some of them, oh, excuse me, not still yawning after I told y'all I'm tired. It is what it is, though. Um, some of them were work emails some of them were like sponsorship collaboration uh opportunities and then of course like i said comments back to you guys um i was able to get about another 45 minutes of sleep but when my sleep get interrupted 
oh man it's it's a little hard for me to recover from that um especially in the morning hopefully i'll bounce back before lunchtime you guys know i have lunch with both of my managers today okay they <laughs> have forced me to come outside and play because y'all know i stay tucked away okay inside i don't i mean i don't want to go as far as say i don't play well with others because i do i just prefer if i had my way to just kind of study myself but i know that you know team building exercises and team interaction and stuff like that is good for the morale of the team it's just three of us um both of my managers are super super bomb they're very nice kind-hearted individuals they don't hover over me they let me do my thing in terms of business um, and they know I'm gonna take care of what I need to take care of. And they're always available if I have any questions, comments, or concerns. So really that's all I could ask for. They're very, very nice um, and super sweet people. And I'm very blessed to have both of the individuals that I do have as the direct managers. Um, so yeah, we are gonna go to lunch with them. I mean, I'm gonna go to lunch. I gotta leave y'all in the car, okay? Probably put y'all in my purse or whatever, but I ain't gonna be able to take y'all out. Y'all gonna have to sit this one out and I know you understand. Um, I think we'll probably go for Mexican. That's usually what we do when we go out um, for lunch because it's easy, easy in terms of location. You know, it's close proximity to uh, where we usually are during the lunch hour. So. Um, we'll probably go there. I'd be shocked if something else is selected, but I'll keep you guys posted. Hopefully something else is selected. I ain't even cap to you because I don't want Mexican food. Like, I don't want it. No shade, no this. I, you know, I enjoy a good Mexican food meal, okay, from time to time. But today, I'm just not craving that. So, I might get a little salad or whatever, you know, do something else. If you know me, you know this in my first way. Certified everywhere, ain't gotta bring a resume. Take out LA. Talk crazy, I'll pull up on the lane. RP the Nate, dog. I had to regulate. Jump up on this. I guess that's why you like it, baby. Come and get this. Takes a lot to his time, it, baby. Give it all the time. I'm a tough with you, baby. Get the right love. Why you texting me? You know I won't. Good afternoon, you guys. It is 5 43, and you already know the vibes. We are off of work. Okay, tomorrow we work from home. Sorry, I'm picking you guys up a little late. Um, as soon as I got off of work, I uh, ended up calling Bay and <laughs> Baby. Okay, we were real intentional today. I was like, Sir, I'm gonna see you when I get home. Okay, because you're not gonna take my time away from the family members because I ain't, I ain't see y'all since this morning. So he understood, thank God. So let me catch y'all up or whatever. First of all, I missed y'all. I feel like something wasn't right about the whole day since I didn't talk to y'all during lunch. But anywho, work was very slow. Very, very, very slow. Very dry, okay? Lunch was really good with my two managers. Y'all would be so proud of me. I played very well with others in the sandbox during recess, okay? The conversation was good. The food was amazing. Child, don't ask me what restaurant we went to, okay? All I know is that it started with an A and that it was downtown Houston. The ambiance was nice. I had chicken Alfredo. These are my leftovers. Now, mind you, the, the leftovers look a little dry, okay? But just know when they brought me my food, it was not looking dry. It was very good. The chicken was well cooked well seasoned it was juicy i actually have a lot of chicken left it's just underneath the noodles uh my manager was <laughs> my top manager was trying to get us to drink wine uh and i was like sir everybody trying to <laughs> do you want me to go back to work and be productive just just feed me okay that, that's it so he took care of that um it was the three of us uh so we had a really good time we had a really really good time got to catch up 
again y'all would be proud of me your girl tapped into the personal side of herself you know not too much we still kept it surface level and whatnot but i did open up and you know everything was quite beautiful on the lunch tip and then this afternoon just like the morning time was very very slow um i was experiencing some issues with one of the systems that i use to process um accounts payable so I, yeah accounts payable so I really couldn't do much. I emailed IT. IT never got back with me. So I was pretty much just like a city. But we are going to have to go to T-Mobile probably in tomorrow's vlog because I'm going to go ahead and close this one out today. Um, and the reason being is we need another screen protector. Okay. I was reaching for my phone to take it off of the charger and it failed. The way that I thought it failed, I didn't think it caused any damage. However, this is my screen protector, was my screen protector. And at this point, it looked just like my windshield. Completely and utterly all cracked up. I just went ahead and took it off because the way that it fell, um, whatever type of material this is, I believe it's tempered glass. Some of it was poking up. And so when I run my finger across it, it kind of snags my hand and I don't want it to be snagging on my face. That's not cute, okay? We don't love that for us. So I just went ahead and took it off, primarily just to show you guys. But like I said, we're gonna go ahead and get another one tonight. It is 7.50 and your girl is so fresh and so clean. And I'm also coming to close out this vlog. I hope that you guys enjoyed hanging out with me in this one. If you did, please be sure to give it a huge thumbs up. If you stuck with me for this long and this is your first time here, hit that subscribe button to join the fam and hit the post notification bell so that you never miss another one of my uploads. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.